be curious to see with this access to technology, are you seeing people be more effective in sales or are you seeing a drop in discipline and productivity? Another great question, by the way. Uh, so so there, there is an incredible opportunity to leverage technology in sales. Whether people are accessing it is a different question. We get a tremendous amount of pushback by salespeople about staying current with their CRM. Uh, if you, it, it doesn't matter which one you choose, uh, less than 20% of the capabilities are actually turned on and being utilized. Uh, it, it, this is an interesting thing. Uh, I'm remarried uh, to a, a woman by the name of Karen, and she was a client of mine for over 20 years. In no way did we ever see ourselves together. And Bonnie and I used to go out with Karen and her husband uh, or dinner dates and that type of thing. When when Bonnie passed away, Karen was at the memorial service. And um, and uh, four years ago this month, quite frankly, she and I were at dinner catching up after a six-week Southeast Asia tour of mine. And we got up from dinner and we kissed and we've been kissing ever since. Now, where's the story going? Well, she moves in with me and she sees me every day updating this book and uh and for 20 some years she's been hearing about these processes and she's seeing all the things i'm accomplishing and she goes i never took action to get one of those books and so i went and bought her this calendar thing and walked her through it and what her feedback is now is that um the physical nature of writing it down, because she used to use different methodologies that were technically driven, she said, I have to look at this every day and write it down, and my day hasn't begun because I update in the early morning, and so does she. She goes, I don't want to have two days in a row of a bad run. When I'm writing down what took place yesterday, and if I'm not happy with that, well, I'm not going to have two unhappy days and the act of writing it down. So not only to have I won Karen over, but I'm going to tell you that I've won hundreds and hundreds of people over. I'm not suggesting, I am not suggesting to the listener to give up on technology, but I am telling you that you need to find what works for you, right? So when I'm doing, when I'm in the sales world, uh, it's a lot more complex than my personal life. Uh, I've got a couple pages of goals there that I showed you. When I'm, when I'm, when I'm dealing with a, a prospect list of potentially hundreds, and when I, need to, when I know that with a new prospect, um, the average number of touches before they know you even exist is nine, <laughs> and they can't all be buy from me, buy from me, buy from me, because now you're selling. And so they've got to be a different mix of how you go about touching them. Um, and then it's got to be a different content. And most of it's got to be driven towards being something that's helpful to them, not selling anything. Uh, and there's it's chaos if you were to try to do that manually. But I can I can actually design a touch system and do that design in a day, and then I can have an assistant of mine execute through the technology, through database management and a, and a touch system and a contact management system, and they're going to actually do it better than me because here I am, 74 years old. Uh, I didn't grow up with that, but a 25-year-old, a 20-year-old, a 18-year-old assistant will map that out quicker and better and more efficiently than me. And my time is worth more than what I can pay that person to do those things for. So, you know, it's all about how do you manage that 168 hours. And, where you know, I, I don't, you, I don't want to be in front of a computer. I, that's not my talent. I don't want to be in front of a computer when I can have somebody else be in front of a computer doing those things for me. And me showing FaceTime with prospects and customers that will generate more business, either with new customers or growing the ones that I have. 
That's where mm-hmm. the rubber may really meets the road. So people are always saying to me, it's amazing how much you get done. Uh, and, and I go, well, I don't have any more hours than anybody else does. So evidently, we're just working on different things. Mm, I love that. Well, you know, I'm just going to highlight as well that to me, I'm a technology person. I love working on a computer. I have two screens even as I record this. I love these kinds of fancy gadgets. But every time I find myself having a sense of overwhelm, and for those who are listening, I'm holding my own little notebook, I was feeling anxiety. And to me, as soon as I lose access to the notebook and I can't write down, as you say, what I'm going to do, it's it's therapeutic. And it's so funny because I've been like this forever where it's like, I'll start physically writing down. I don't even know if I have a look at 80% of the stuff that I write down, but the therapeutic activity of writing it down keeps me so focused. It makes me go to bed at night with a clear head. And for me, this it, that's the system that works for me. And so finding a bit of a a hybrid between the physical, which I feel is so much more tangible, and then complementing it with the technology, I think is where I find the most effectiveness. And I think we often overemphasize how technology is supposed to solve our problems when I've just seen accelerate the chaos that you speak about. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're yeah. not so, really holding so, it. Let me, let me also reinforce something about writing it down. There's studies that have been done that prove that uh, we remember things better when we take notes. Uh, you know, if I were to teach sales uh, and do it in a very quick, uh, quick way, it would be four words, ask questions and listen, right? Uh, that's selling. And so uh, I'm a copious note taker uh, and it's all by handwritten. Now I may summarize it later in a, a computer environment type of thing so that I have those notes stored away and I can access them and so forth. But Uh, I I have been taking notes on every conversation my entire life uh, because it helps me with remembrance, right? Thank you so much for listening to the Selling with Love podcast. We have some previous episodes you can tune into right here. And if you prefer the short form content where you get to the point in under 10 minutes, we do have a ton of clips from our best episodes that are being shared on this channel as well. So pick which one supports you the most. And of course, thank you for liking, subscribing, and of course, selling with love.